I'm here with Jay Roberts, the co-owner of Blades International Salon, and we're talking about how we're all putting things in our hair to wave it, curl it, crimp it, whatever. Uh, and there's a right way and a wrong way to do these kinds of things, especially even if we flat iron. Correct. So we're just going to show you today the proper way to flat iron hair. Emmy, our model today, has long, beautiful hair, but what you're about to see works on all lengths. The first most important thing is that you want to make sure that you use a product that has a thermo heat protectant in it. You don't want anything too gunky or heavy or that has a lot of alcohol. A lot of people use hairspray. The worst you can do because you're baking the hairspray into your hair. Don't spray it and then just put it on. Do not. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the hair, take out a section, come in, mist the hair, each section, then you're going to take your flat iron and a comb, a heat resistant comb. You're going to take your iron, place the hair on a diagonal, and you're going to begin at the top, tap, 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 and glide your way down the hair, moving in a diagonal pattern. Do at least three to four passes. Remember, you're blow drying the hair first and then flat iron their hair after. This is going to give a more natural effect to the hair. When you flat iron horizontal, it can cause ridges and bumps. And at the very end, all you wanna do is add a little of a brilliant shine serum or a spray. Take your then bristle brush. A bristle brush creates less static into the hair and just glide it through and look at the finish and the shine and how beautiful the hair looks when it's done. For coarse hair, your temperature should be 370 to 410 degrees. Wavy hair, 350 to 370. Normal hair, 330 to 350. Fine hair, 250 to 300. And synthetic hair should be the lowest, 160 degrees. Any higher than that and you could have a disaster. You're going to have melted hair on your iron. So if it's <laughs> don't want that. we don't want that. You want to lower the temperature. Hot rollers are back. Okay. <laughs> and I really like hot rollers because it has so many different ways that you can use the hair. So one of the ones I love is Remington because it has a clip, which is really easy. You roll the hair, you snap the clip in, boom, you're ready to go. So the other important thing, again, is using the proper products to use. Again, a heat protectant is great, but I love Quick Blowout because it has a heat protectant and it adds more volume into the hair. You spray that on the hair liberally before you blow dry. Okay. You can either use a volume gel or a volume mousse, whichever you prefer. I tend to like volume gel on finer hair to medium hair, thicker, coarser hair, mousse, because it gives more flexibility and more moisture in the hair. After you put in the product, it's time to put the rollers in and wait to remove. On Lisa today, add more volume through the sides. We set them all horizontally or you can set them vertically. It just depends on what you want. Then you take them out easily, and I'm gonna ask you, Miss Former Hairdresser, to help me out there. <laughs> that might be a stretch. I did work in high school at a hair salon, and I got to help with things like this. <laughs> Next, use a dry texture spray like this one by Redkin instead of hairspray. And then you're going to brush in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna have Lisa tip forward for me, drop her head down, and you're gonna brush the hair right through. Because if you follow it in the pattern, the hair looks too bouffanty and too roller set, like you were like back in the 60s. Right, we wanted to have that more that looser Victoria's Secret look. Correct. Okay. And the beautiful thing about a roller set is that it lasts longer. Give it a good shake. And throw your head back for us, Lisa. Ooh, Turn so towards cute. the camera. And then just work with your fingers or your brush, pushing the hair in. And look at this beautiful, beautiful set. Next, how to use wands and curling irons. The difference between the two is that a curling iron has a clamp and gives a more defined curl. A wand has no clamp and you can wrap the hair and it gives it more of a looser feeling. Always start with dry hair and a heat protectant. So if we're using a wand, you want to go in a vertical pattern. Hold the wand down and you're going to come back and you're going to wrap and wrap, wrap. 
all the way through to the end. Now you can leave the end out, it gives it more of a natural feeling. And then once it's heated, you slide it out and it gives it more of that cute, really soft, beachy, wavy look. If you keep the curl in and hold it for a few seconds and let it cool, it gives it more of a curl to it also. So you can use the wand two different ways. Yeah, and obviously this is a very skinny wand, so you're gonna get a tighter curl. If you want the bigger, looser waves, then you're gonna use bigger wands. Correct. Finally, a no heat way to curl. This is a scarf? So this is a scarf, and all we did was, and I'm gonna show you, what you need to have is the scarf, a couple of bobby pins, a volumizing mist spray, slightly damp hair, and two coated elastics. Let's go back and see what Jay did. Now you can use a scarf like that. You could use two bandanas tied together. Okay. You could use your dad's or your husband's or your boyfriend's tie. Okay. You can use a headband. It's so simple. And all it really is, again, is just taking putting it about an inch away from your scalp. Okay. Putting two bobby pins to lock it in on the top. Mm -hmm. Lock it in, and then you'll begin to take each section and wrap it around the scarf. And then as you do it, you keep adding it and wrapping it, adding it and wrapping it, and you keep just doing that all the way down the head. And okay. it works out so beautiful, and then you just all right. out in the morning, and you've got these beautiful beachy curls into the hair. And it's just so pretty, and it's just really a nice way to use no heat and get some beautiful volume in the hair. All right, that's awesome. Thank you, Jay. You're welcome, Kara. There you have it, all the different ways to add some curl or flatten your hair the right way. The right way. Thanks, Jay. <laughs>